All right, guys, welcome back to the jeans folding series. Today, we're going to have a look at the block roll. Uh, it's the one that I teach the most in my course. Uh, it's fantastic. It looks like this. So the big advantage with this block roll is that you can stack them very easily in your drawers. They save a lot of space, hold together really nicely. And um, yeah, it's just a fantastic way to roll your pants. I wouldn't do this for slacks or maybe even cut. Uh, cocky chinos if they anything that creases up really easily you don't want to do this for fold for but I'm going to show you an alternative that you can do instead later but for now let's just do the do the block roll here so in order to do this roll we are going to again start with the pants laying with the front facing up like this and then from here we're going to fold jeans over in half from one side to the other like so and here's the fun part we're going to fold out uh, the top leg at the knee, 90 degrees. So I like to fold it uh, forward, but it doesn't really matter. You can fold it backward if you want to. So if you have really, really uh, short jeans, you may get away with going slightly down like this uh, below the knee, but in general, just around the knee, you can experiment a little bit with it. So next we're going to fold in this crotch area here uh, so that we get a nice even line on both sides, minus the whole uh, leg that's sticking out. Uh, from here we're going to roll the pants down. So we're rolling from the waistband all the way down to the bottom. Uh, make sure that you roll over this uh, folded out section, folded in section here. Um, the tighter you roll it, it doesn't matter as much, but if you have skinny jeans you may want to roll it uh, slightly tighter than if you have uh, regular fit jeans. Since regular fit jeans, um, we're going to stuff the leg over here afterwards and they have thicker legs, so you can get away with uh, uh, a looser roll. Uh, I'm going to show you an alternative as well that you can use for very tight women's jeans and stuff that doesn't really roll up uh, nicely. So once we reach this point, take one of your hands and lift up the roll with a, so it doesn't unravel of course. I like to take the part with the leg sticking up, um, sticking up. <laughs> And from here, we're going to put our other free hand inside the leg like this. And you're going to flip it down over the rest of the roll. Just grab hold of it like this. And then you can take your other hand and you can gently or harshly, I guess, just flip it over the rest of the roll. So you should get something like this. Uh, if you want it to cover the entire leg, you can make the leg slightly bigger, but this is totally fine. It's not going to unravel anytime soon. So uh, one of my members uh, said that this didn't work very well for women's jeans, uh, especially for the tight uh, skinny jeans. So I'm going to show you an alternative here quickly that you can do if that's the case. So we're actually going to start this time by flipping the waist inside out. Uh, this is a ranger roll very popular in the military <laughs> so uh, yeah just a little fun fact there make sure that you get the front tear folded in as much as you do on the other side for pants like this probably give it uh, let's say um, 10 inches that would be about 25 centimeters for you non-americans out there uh, and from here we're going to fold it over in half like we did with the other pants like this from side to side you want to make sure that you straighten out any uneven part. It can easily get kind of creased up here with uh, where we made the inside out part. Um, yeah, from here we're again going to fold in this pesky crotch area. But you can do that as we roll it up uh, later. So this time we're actually going to roll from the bottom of the legs up like this. If it's on camera here on my small little table. So keep rolling here. So for these ones, the tighter you roll, the more space you're going to save. If you roll really tightly, you can consider making this uh, fold hair slightly smaller as well, as we don't need as much room. Remember to fold in the crotch area here, so we get a nice straight line up the pants. And we just roll, 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 roll. This is also great for travel, obviously. So, once you make it to the top, like this, take one of your hands and lift up the entire roll, like this. Then you have your other free hand that you can kind of force, uh, force, that you can fold this band inside out part of the jean over the roll, right? So just do one side at a time, like this. And make sure you get it all the way in there so it doesn't unravel. Uh, this one can take a little bit of uh, practice probably. You need to do it a couple of times before you get it uh, 
to look really nicely. Once you got one of the sides over, just turn it around the other way. Make sure that you kind of uh, watch out that this part doesn't unravel as you take this part over the band as well. La -da 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 -da. But again, um, I prefer the previous one, but if you, it doesn't work on your jeans, this one is fine too. And uh, once you got it all rolled over like this, uh, you can make some adjustments by just sticking your thumbs or index fingers inside this little part here. And here we have a perfectly ranger rolled pair of uh, jeans. So I wanted to show you, um, you can stack these really nicely as well next to other pants. I have, uh, here is a pair of uh, joggers. I made an entire video on joggers before, by the way, so I'm not gonna do it in this series. Like you can stack them like this. If you have something like slacks, uh, this is gonna be the next video. You can also stack these in these blocks. Pretty much the basis of my whole uh, block rolling course here. Uh, I can link that if you're interested. I'm about to update it, so it should be good. If you need step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this, I have made an entire article about it, organizing.tv slash full dash pants. Uh, you can check out uh, that if you need uh, more help than the video or you prefer learning that way. But yeah, let's uh, move on here. Before we go do the slacks, I actually want to show you a really fast way to fold jeans as well. So I'm going to link that in the playlist. If you want to see it, I'll see you there. 